Narrative art is dead. We are in a period of mourning. To scandalize is a right. To be scandalized, a pleasure. Refusal must be great, absolute, absurd. Welcome to the world of Abel Ferrara's Pasolini, an infatuated tribute to the notorious Italian director whose gnomic bon mot could equally apply to Pier Paolo or to Abel himself. Let me be frank with you. I've been to hell, and I know things that don't disturb other people's dreams. But let me warn you, hell is rising towards you. It's true it comes under different banners and behind different masks. We're all victims, and we're all guilty. The urge, the need to swing a crowbar, to attack, to kill, it's powerful. And it's in all of us. Like Pasolini, Ferrara's work has provoked both outrage and admiration in pretty much equal measure, straddling the divide between art and exploitation. He first made his name with The Driller Killer, which was famously banned during the video Nasty Scare, and is perhaps best known for Bad Lieutenant, a heady cocktail of Catholic ideology and sense-abating sleaze. As for Pasolini, he earned plaudits from the Vatican for directing the Gospel according to Matthew, but provoked riots with Salo or The 120 Days of Sodom, a film which he finished very shortly before his violent death. There's nothing that isn't political. <laughs> Ferrara's handsomely oblique study focuses on the very end of Pasolini's life as he completes work on Salo and makes plans for Porno Teo Colossal, the unmade magnum opus which Ferrara here reimagines in startling elegiac fashion. <laughs> Willem Dafoe bears an uncanny resemblance to his subject as he drifts through a lovingly realised world of beige interiors and cruisy exteriors, sumptuously shot by cinematographer Stefano Falavani. The blend of politics, religion, blowjobs and murder is pure catnip for Ferrara, although those not well versed in the controversies surrounding Solo may need to do a little bit of background reading to fully appreciate what's going on. Look out for Maria Di Medeiros' actress Laura Betty, who provided the voice of the demon in the Italian dub of The Exorcist, to which this film makes sly reference. Plaudits too to Adriana Asti, who brings real heart and soul to the role of Pasolini's doting yes, mother Susanna. But this show belongs to Ferrara and Defoe, both of whom seem besotted with a bygone age in which a filmmaker promoting his new movie could talk to the press about philosophy, poetry, politics, and the whole world would listen. Thank you.